हेलो एवरीवन आई एम प्रियंका भारती फ्रॉम सीरत मोहाली आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट माय रिसर्च टॉपिक ऑन एन ऑटोमेटेड डिटेक्शन एंड सेगमेंटेशन ऑफ ट्यूमर इन ब्रेन एमआरआई यूजिंग मशीन लर्निंग टेक्निक एन अर्ली डायग्नोसिस ऑफ ट्यूमर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर दिस वी नीड अ टेक्निक विच विल डायग्नोज द एग्जैक्ट लोकेशन एंड साइज ऑफ ट्यूमर it will reduce speed of computation it will give result with maximum accuracy our brain controls all activities it processes the information receives from different body organs it makes decision and sends instructions to perform tasks accordingly what is brain tumor Brain tumor is identified as a situation in which the cells existing within the brain tissue becomes capable of uncontrolled proliferation. Benign and malignant are two different types of tumor. Benign tumor cells divide slowly whereas malignant cells divide endlessly. It can migrate to different body organs. It produces new tumor there which will result in metastasis. World Health Organization has classified the brain tumor from grade 1 to grade 4. Signs and symptoms are headache, memory loss, depression, weakness, etc. Some other symptoms are reading and writing difficulties, speech problem, facial numbness, etc. According to a research conducted by IARC It is estimated that about 3,8102 new cases of brain tumor were reported in the year 2020, and mortality rate is about 2,51,329. Also, their calculations say that the average number of new cases is likely to pile up to 3,39,000. 730 by the year 2025 and mortality rate would be 2,80,038. This increasing number of cases can only be reduced if the diagnosis is done with the help of tools. The reason is that if diagnosis is done manually then it will take time and result will vary from one medical expert to another. on the other hand if the diagnosis is done with the help of tools then it will minimize manual effort improve accuracy takes less time hence this will increase the chances of survival magnetic resonance imaging is the best imaging technique it is non invasive and does not use ionizing radiation It gives detailed picture of brain and nerve tissues. Segmentation. Image segmentation is used to divide magnetic resonance images on the basis of similarity like color, texture, intensity, contrast, etc. Support vector machine. SVM is a concept of supervised learning and machine learning. supervised learning takes place under the supervision of a teacher this learning process is dependent it uses a training data set to teach models to yield the desired output it gives better performance when the number of training samples is very small and dimension of feature space is very high hidden markov model It is a concept of reinforcement and machine learning. It depends upon decision making ability in sequence. Here the output depends on the state of the current input and the next input depends on the output of the previous input. In this complex model can be built in a small data set without incorporating noise in the data. it is used in pattern recognition and computer vision application
As we all know, prevention is better than cure. It can only be achieved with early diagnosis of any illness with maximum accuracy. Mortality rate due to brain tumor and its related complications are increasing day by day. So accurate evolution of tumor affected region from MR image is the major objective of medical image processing. Research methodology Location and classification both are crucial steps for detecting tumor in brain. In the existing technique, tumor location and classification is done, but with high complexity due to which execution time is very high. To overcome this bottleneck and to meet the future needs, HMM is proposed which reduces the execution time and gives more accuracy. The detailed flowchart is given in the next slide. First step is to input the brain tumor image dataset. For this real dataset of four different patients diagnosed with having brain tumor has been collected from Midnapur Diagnostic Private Limited at Arzikan Medical College and Hospital Kolkata. In the next step, median filter is used to clean the unwanted noise. Then the threshold based segmentation is done to extract the region of interest. Gray level co-occurrence matrix and discrete wavelet transform are used to extract the tumor feature. Support vector machine and hidden Markov model are used for the classification purpose. At last, comparison is done on the basis of performance parameters and then values of performance parameters are compared to get the desired result. Here, proposed algorithm is simulated using MATLAB. Here, column one shows the real data set as an input. Column 2 shows the output using OTSO's threshold method. Column 3 shows segmented brain MR images by proposed algorithm. Column 4 shows the exact mark location of tumor which is encircled in blue color. Three performance analysis are accuracy, specificity, and sensitivity. Here, graphical representation of accuracy is given between existing and proposed algorithm. It is the graphical representation of specificity and sensitivity between existing and proposed algorithm. This table shows the values of performance parameters. Here the average accuracy, specificity and sensitivity of HMM is 78.5%, 53% and 60%. Whereas that of SVM is 56.5%, 49% and 46% respectively. It is observed that HMM has high performance measures than SVM. The highest measured accuracy of HMM is 90% and that of SVM is 80%. It shows 10% more accuracy. The highest measured specificity of both technique is same that is 100%. The highest measured sensitivity of HMM is 100% and that of SVM is 80%. From this it is seen that 
there is 20% more sensitivity in proposed algorithm. Conclusion On the basis of average accuracy calculated for 20 MR images, the result shows that the proposed HMM is giving accuracy of 78.5% Whereas conventional technique using SVM have shown an accuracy of 56.5%. Hence, to improve efficiency, reduce speed of computation, SVM classifier can be replaced with HMM classifier. This approach can be implemented by engineers in near future for detection of brain tumor. Following are the references that I have used. Thank you.